I have a question. Three weeks, nine days, we think about Churban, we sit on a floor tish above, we cry about everything that we're missing. Okay, it's all real, it's all true, right? We have to get in the mood, we have to know that, we have to internalize that. Okay, and then what happens? Chatzais, the next day, whistles are blown, we jump in the pool, simcha time, music is blaring. How could you go from Churban to excitement and simcha? What happened to all the pain? What changed? We're still at home. Why are we allowed to have meat and have song and be happy? Nothing changed. I think in this lies the genius of Yiddishkeit. Of course, every single day should be Tisha B'Av. Every single minute of every single hour of every single day of our year should be crying, take us home to Yerushalayim. We should never eat meat. We should never have a smile on our face. We should sit on the floor. We should cry and be Miss Abel in Yerushalayim until Hashem takes us home. Of course. But it's unhealthy emotionally. Hashem knows that we cannot live life like that. And therefore, ace live kais, the ace lirkait. There is a time for everything. There's a time to sit and cry over our problems. There's a time to get up and dance. A person very dear to you dies. There's a shiva, but then there's a shleishim. And, and the difference is, yeah, you start showering and you start getting up there. And then there's a, a shleishim is over. It's over. You go to the, to the, to the year. It's different. There has to be a difference because we have to live life. If du es Hashem, besimcha, even in the worst situations. So sometimes we have to sit on the floor and cry, but you can't remain there. Many of us have a lot of problems. Many of us have a lot of pain. Give yourself a time of the week that you can cry for your pain. But when that time is up, you get up and you dance and enjoy your life. Get up on your feet and dance and sing and play music. You can't stay in a state of depression, even for very real losses like Chorban Beis Amikdash, for death, for real problems. You have to have a time to cry, but then a time to sing, a time to dance, a time to smile, and a time to be happy. Hashem does not want us to be broken all the time. Hashem wants us to do what we need to do, when we need to do it, have our moments, but then to get up and to praise Him from a place of joy and happiness.